can I use my old Boobar antenna for my 4G booster or any antenna for that matter? Keep it simple, keep it real, look at the physics. Um, no, but we actually get this question a lot. So specifically going to think about GME for instance. Um, GME is quite a popular, quite a successful antenna brand that uh, makes UHF antennas. Um, and they also have a 4G antenna, and just by the looks of it, if you put the two together and you take off the labels, you will not know which one is which. So one looks like UHF, one looks like a 4G antenna. That just leads to the question often enough to say, well, I already have an antenna on my booba. Can I use this for my 4G booster, my cell phone, or something else as well? Now, that question as such is something we can often answer by just clinically saying, no, you need to have an antenna correct for a specific application. But then I realized the question gets asked a lot for, for similar setups, similar problems as well. TV antennas, for instance, you can't use your TV antenna for a um, 4G or data motor because it's a different type of antenna. Uh, um, the impedance is also different, but that's a topic for another video. But the frequencies don't align, so the antenna does not work where you want it to look. And I also see this actually, unfortunately, in the professional world as well, where companies um, often just take a, an antenna and say, well, just what we call impedance match, we'll just change our circuit a little bit on the back end on a PC board so we can actually match that to this antenna that I found. Um, for next to nothing. It doesn't work. Uh, rather than me just saying it doesn't work, I was really thinking over this past weekend, how can I show this and kind of try to be relatable? And it is a very difficult thing to explain, but I'm going to try my best. So what I've done is like little um, weights that you have for, um, for fishing. Now, I'm not a big fisherman, so these weights still come from my high school days on a certain piece of um, string. And it has a natural resonance. So if I just make sure that I have the right resonance on my finger, I can really make this thing go very, very high and have a lot of energy that gets transferred into my weights. Awesome. So that's natural resonance. That's the resonance of this device. Same as with an antenna, it has a resonance. It has a resonance where it actually does the best and it wants to work really well for you. I have a much smaller one. This is very small, uh, you can't even see that. It's very, um, compared to the other one, I just want to show. Much smaller and a smaller weight. Just see what the difference is going to be. Uh, the back shoot, so, and it just goes there. See, so much faster. So the frequency that it actually swings at is just much faster. Now, if I to put the two together, so I'm just taking a stick, well, actually, this is a, an antenna. Um, I'm going to put them on the same stick. I want to do this in camera, so see if I can get this demo working live, live-ish. So there you have both of them, you can see them. Um, I'm going to try and make the small one swing, and I'll see what happens to the big one as I get the small one to swing. So I need to get my, all right. So the small one is swinging quite nicely. The big one is not really doing anything. Now let's try the same with the big one. Um, I'm going to make the big one swing but the small one is not really doing anything. Um, is there a way I can force both to actually resonate at the same time? Obviously with some math and so you can actually find some, some speeds where both would potentially interact. That might be the case. But in reality, it's not going to happen. The physics tells you this is basically the best way, the easy way to do this. So there's one speed, fairly slow control that works for the long stick with the heavy weights. And there's one for the small one, where I can make that swing quite nicely, and then the, the other one does just nearly nothing. The resonant frequency of this one is much higher, much faster than this one. That's the way it is. That's the physics of the two. Um, now, you could easily say, and I kind of get this feedback, so yeah, but you could still make it work. And there's one trick that you could do is make this a stiff. So don't put this as a, as a stick. Just make this one rigid solution. And then, of course, you can force it to swing along with you. So really go that, that whatever happens, it will move the way you want it to move. But you know that then actually you have to put a lot of strain on this because you're going to go against the natural um, tendency of this device. Then a mechanical engineer could potentially tell you, yeah, but you just beef it up, you make it stronger. So add much more support here so that it's strong and it will last whatever, let's say in design will we say three years, 10 years reliability, cool, and this works well, awesome. So you make this stiffer so that's more expensive than a string. You added more support here, so you added more complexity to make it work. 
Or you could have just gone back to basic physics and said, you know what, if you just have the right resonance, you just do this thing the way that na nature told you this is what it needs to be. You, I do next to nothing and it works. And it's going to keep on going like this for how long I want to go it for without a lot of energy coming from me because I'm at the natural resonance. It's exactly the same with antennas. An antenna works in a certain frequency band. The manufacturer, if they are truthful on their data sheets, will tell you, this is where I designed it for. It's working in this band. It's resonant in this band, just like with my little thing. That's where you can get the best performance out of an antenna. If you try to do it different, you're just going to cause all sorts of things that are outside of the natural frequency. And it's you make life harder, and potentially you sacrifice a lot of awesome performance you could get out of the device. I hope it works. I hope this makes a little bit of sense. Um, as I did mention in previous few videos, I'm going to try and be much more focused on a bit of the physics and the education side of things and, and apply the principles and let people understand and know what's going on and where things are with physics and what we do and where you can apply them so that they can be used in the best way. Um, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to our channel and as um, soon you'll see membership options coming up so please look at the membership option and look at the video look out for the video with the membership announcement that should be released soon thanks for watching see you again soon bye bye